Hi Roboticist, welcome back in this uh, new video where we are gonna learn how to code a motion planning of a random path uh, using Moveit C++ API and we are gonna make our robot moving in RVs rather than the Moveit uh, motion planning uh, plugin, we are gonna create a code in C++ where we are gonna make our robot make a random path. Like this. So let's start uh, right away. And I remember you uh, that uh, if you want uh, to learn how to do that, uh, make sure uh, to uh, stay in this video till uh, the end. And I can assure you that you won't regret it. So before to start, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel, uh, hit the notification bell in order to do not uh, lose the further topic. And why not share uh, this uh, video to your colleague, to any robotist uh, enthusiast uh, that uh, you think that uh, might be an interest uh, for you or for them. And uh, well, um, if uh, you wanted to support the channel, I'm gonna put uh, uh, the link for a donation in uh, PayPal and uh, it will be very appreciated. But okay, that's all for this introduction and let's start uh, right away. So navigate uh, into uh, your Catkin workspace that you have uh, created and where there's your movie package and your uh, URDF file, let's say, the, the cobble simulation that uh, uh, we have been uh, working with uh, uh, since we have uh, started this series and so now let's uh, uh, create uh, a, a new package And let's call it Cobot Test. And don't forget that now uh, we will need uh, to put uh, a lot of dependencies. Uh, so catkin, then cmake modules. interactive markers move it core move it loss perception move it loss planning we are gonna use uh, all these uh, um, dependencies uh, in uh, the later video but uh, for now let's uh, uh, add it uh, uh, now for simplicity Build the package. Okay, navigate into the package that we have just created.
and open Visual Studio Code. Go inside the SRC folder and let's create a new script and let's call it test random. dot cpp because it's gonna be a c++ file and why test random well because we are uh, in this video asking the robot to just create a random pathway of the tcp and we are gonna see how to do that in this script instead of playing with the RVs like we did in the last video. So let's start and include the move group interface. Then let's create our main section. Okay, let's create uh, a node and give it a name. As always. We can call this name, this node, uh, a move group interface demo. Uh, now what we're gonna do is uh, to start uh, a, a ROS spinning thread. Then we are gonna create an asynchronous spinner object. Let's start the spinner. I remember you that uh, we are going to use uh, an API. And then uh, we are going to code a line that connects to uh, a running instance of uh, uh, the move group node, a uh, move group interface group arm. So let's do it. create a planning interface move group interface object and we're gonna group the arm that we have coded last time or better we have configured uh, with uh, our tap assistant of move it and uh, then uh, we are going to specify that uh, our target uh, would be a random one. And in the next video, instead of having a random, there will be a specific uh, position of the TCP. But uh, this is something that we will cover in the next video. So for now, let's uh, set up uh, a random target. So set uh, random target and then what we need to do is uh, to plan the motion and then move the group to the sampled target that is set here how to do that just type group dot move And then let's ask Ross to wait for shutdown.
Okay, here we go. So we need uh, to create an executable file because uh, when uh, we're going to execute this node that we have named move group interface demo, then it will plan a random path and execute it as illustrated in this file here. So first uh, let's uh, update the cmakelist.txt file and let's go to the build section so i've decided to call the executable file test random cobot node and then make sure to add the dependencies i just updated and copy and paste uh, uh, this line here and uh, now we can test it so first of all you will need uh, to uh, run the demo.launch file that uh, is uh, automatically generated from uh, the um, move it uh, uh, setup assistant so ROS launch we have call it uh, cobot uh, cobot move config and then demo dot launch Here we go, here nothing new. We have uh, our uh, cobots. And uh, last time uh, we have uh, played with our robot uh, asking uh, as a goal state to put a, a random, which was uh, easy. But uh, now instead of uh, playing a, a random uh, pathway using the RVs, uh, what we're gonna do is uh, uh, to uh, run the node that we have just uh, called before. So uh, to do that, open a new terminal and uh, ROS run. Then the name of the package that we have created, this is gonna be cobot underscore test, and then the only executable file that is available. Here we go. And you can see, finally, that uh, the robot is uh, planning uh, a random pathway that uh, is available and uh, is uh, uh, available, let's say, from uh, the um, inverse kinematic uh, solution. So all uh, the uh, planning uh, that this robot is making uh, are um, in accordance uh, to the inverse kinematic. And if you want to test uh, something else, we just need to uh, close this node and make run and again and you will see that another uh, position of uh, the uh, TCP will be uh, made. You see? Here the robot is making another random position and you can enjoy here to play furthermore with your robots okay that's all for today i hope that you enjoyed this video 
Um, I'm gonna put uh, the link of the uh, package that I have created so you can uh, check if you made uh, some mistake. Um, I'm gonna put the whole package so you can uh, check also the CMakeList file uh, because uh, well, when you play with uh, some uh, API uh, it's uh, common that uh, you might uh, uh, fall in error in uh, uh, building the package but uh, don't worry about that I'm gonna provide the link in the description down below so uh, don't uh, hesitate to reach me out uh, if uh, you stuck uh, somewhere uh, in uh, this uh, uh, tutorial and don't uh, miss uh, the next video where uh, instead of uh, making a random planning we are gonna ask the robot uh, to reach a certain position and we are gonna command the x, y and z position and orientation of the TCP and this uh, will be very useful and we will be ready uh, for uh, deploying a real industrial application using VOS and move it API. So again, thanks for your attention. And if you like this video, don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel, support the channel for uh, allows me to find the time uh, to uh, publish a video uh, like this and for industrial application. And uh, as always, uh, uh, keep learning robotics with ROS.